Hi guys, my name is Ricardo, Wild Enduro Channel here. Today I'll be showing you the differences between a 2024 TBI bike versus a TPI bike. I've been riding KTMs for the last six, seven years. I've been in the range of four strokes and two strokes now. And I just got this 2024 bike um, a couple months ago. But today we're going to hit some of the national parks here in Thailand and I'll show you uh, my perspective on some aspects of the bike, such as uh, power delivery, handling, suspension, and things like that. I hope you enjoy the video. Stick around. We did a warm up just to get the bike hot enough. And we're going to hit this mountain here called Polo Hills. The bike handling is amazing. It's quick, it's agile, light. Let's see the low end torque. Very good. As far as suspension goes, we just came back from a very fast bit, which was quite a, was a lot of whoops. I was just flying over it. Big difference. I think KTM did a good job on the on this for uh, close cartridge. WP suspension is pretty good. I'm trying to push here, but ah. a little bit of space so. See, the handling is just amazing look the bike is thin and agile I just sold it and my first impression is that the response, the response is pretty faster on this compared to the TPI. I think the two different fuel systems, this is more looks more like a car bike I think. It's just immediate response, feels more power. Oh, oh almost lost the air. <sighs> Big mistake. That's what happens when you're talking. don't like is the, the tires that come on this bike they suck for this terrain yeah <laughs> hey, kdx doing all right Actually, yeah, it was so kdx doing all right but it's got no power why not i see he, he goes like brrr and it doesn't go <laughs> <laughs> it, pin it we're gonna hit the other side of the mountain now just crossed it now I think there's some gnarly bits. There'll be some cool videos, I hope. It's a slippery. What's wrong with you? Oh. Rip that shit off! Come on! No mark! Okay, let's try. 
try the the torque. That's amazing. Wow. No comparison. Sorry guys. This is great. Also, something to mention about. You don't switch gears as much as you do on a TPI. Downhill, very good. Front suspension could be a little bit more soft, but I only had the clicks adjustments. Well, puts on the pegs. Bit of a slope here, you gotta watch. Whoa. Take this. Yeah, downhill also feels much better. if I do this line or that line. Go down here. Go down. Yeah.
is impressive. It just rips everything. the other thing I'm on the green map which is the more aggressive one the white map not much difference either okay well we're hitting the single tracks of Kalmaikel it's a national park island uh, it's about 60 kilometers of tracks in here See how agile Just give a little bit of a clutch. It's just See that? Oh. So it's this way and another way. They meet together on this track. There's another way in here. All right. Just very, very good power, suspension, gearing, huh. the weight is also to the front, so that gives a different handling and uh, balance, control, good. Really, really enjoyed. Not a regret at all. <laughs> push it, push it. Be careful. See? That's dangerous. Rip your neck off. in the group now we're gonna meet after this track we're gonna take some more technical which will be good also to confirm this bike is really is spectacular Look at this low end part. 
does pretty much all the job for me so what's going on here just jump over it the hill now we covered about 50 kilometers of ground okay I think we're the hill climb Stop. Just want to keep going. thing with this thing man so let me give you some let me walk you through the bike itself so let's start with the overall this is the hard enduro version. I put some customized stickers on and I upgrade on the clutch cover. This, there's a lot of rocks where I hit and uh, this is stronger. A lot of protection comes stock with the bike. Uh, so as far as suspension goes, this is the exact exacto. Um, close cartridge versus the Explore from the previous version. Uh, they have this mount which is one piece vibration wise pretty good I used to wear that Mako uh, mounting but this one I think I don't need uh, as far as the gearing it's a 13 sprocket and a 45 believe it or not it has a lot of power and a lot of torque on low end I was surprised uh, here KTM improved this there's a screw for the seat on the top the bike feels a little bit thinner and the handling more the weight towards the front I like it I changed this uh, buttons because this is enduro engineering 
uh, because the one in the bike had a recall I haven't received mine yet so I'm waiting for it then I'll replace it but better not take a risk uh, what else oh power valve is electronic now it's down here I don't know if you can see it it's a bit dark but it's good some blinks on the wheel hubs and spokes uh, the rear shock now you have the, the high speed and the clicks and here you can control the rebound on the front suspension different from the previous version the compression is on the top and the rebound is on the bottom uh, the light has a LED uh, which I like it's much much better than the previous version uh, overall the bike's pretty good like the KTM said 95% of the bike is new and I really enjoyed it yeah I'm at the top of the hill I think this is the last one before we finish the track I just want to close the video and tell you that this TBI bike is simply amazing I'm really happy with the bike no hard times just the bike do its job it's a notch up better than the TPI I hope you enjoy the video leave some comments give me ideas how to improve my channel uh, click on the link to the next video here if you want to keep watching my videos and see you next time thank you